Hello sewing friends and welcome to my channel Stitch and Style by Nadia. Today I want to talk to you about my Make 9 for 2021, how well did I do and what's on my Make 9 for 2022. So starting with um, Make 9 for last year, this was my first time of doing a Make 9 and I managed five out of nine pieces. So I'm pretty happy with that actually for my first make nine and I think I've learned a bit um, from taking part in the challenge and I'm really looking forward to um, this year's make nine. The first out of the five that I made last year was the Heather dress by Sew Over It and this is a knit dress that has some lovely pockets and you can do some colour blocking. Now for my version, I really enjoyed sewing up the pattern, um, but my fabric choice wasn't so good with this one because it was in a colour that doesn't really suit me. The fabric tended to pill and also I had cut it a little bit short. So for those reasons, I no longer actually have the dress. My husband and I moved house in 2021 and I used it as an opportunity to really evaluate my wardrobe and I was going from a triple wardrobe down to a single wardrobe. So I had to be really focused on what was working for me in the wardrobe and what wasn't. Yeah, and unfortunately that one didn't make it. The second of the five that I made up was the Chandler Pants by Untitled Thoughts and also I think fabric choice on this one kind of let me down. The fabric is um, a Lady McElroy cotton drill fabric. I still have these trousers and I'm still evaluating whether they are working for me or not. I think I'm heading towards the not working for me, unfortunately, with these ones too. The issue is the fabric is quite thick on them and so they're quite a stiff kind of trouser and the rise isn't quite high enough for me. I've previously made the Chandler pants for both me and my sister and I got mixed up with the pattern pieces and I used the ones that were for my sister um, when cutting out this pair. Also the fabric is a very dark navy. So dark navy it kind of looks like black but then when you work, put it against black you can tell it's navy. So I have actually found these tricky to style. I can't really find the shoes to wear with the very dark navy, um, especially because they're kind of a smart trouser. So um, if they were a more casual trouser, I could pair them with white trainers and they would look that would look nice. But for how they are now, they're not really working for me. So for the Next one that I sewed up was the indigo dress by Tilly in the Buttons. This is an absolutely lovely dress. I really like it. It's I actually made the tunic length and so I can wear it over jeans. I really like the floatiness of it and I wore it a couple of times and I got compliments on this dress. So definitely a winner. It was a bit tricky to sew the ruffle around the waistband so when it came to the sleeves I thought I just can't face doing the ruffle around the sleeves as well. The only thing that I think about this dress is that I chose to do the fluted sleeves and I don't know whether they actually work for me, the fluted sleeves. That's just not a style design that I'm really drawn to or I would really choose or reach for. So I think I'm going to redo the sleeves on this dress and hopefully get a little bit more wear out of it this year. The next that I sewed up was the tulip skirt by Sew Over It. 
I made it in the same material that I made the Chandler pants in, so the very dark navy. I ended up cutting a size 10 for the waistband. Um, and maybe I'm a, I'm a size 11 rather than 10. So it turned out to be a little bit small. So I had to add pieces into the back of the waistband. And, um, but I don't really think you can notice too much unless you're looking closely. But at the same time, I do know that that's there. The final one that I sewed up of my Make 9 for 2021 was the Pona jacket by Helen's Closet. Actually, I didn't manage to finish it in 2021. I actually sewed it up in 2022, but I um, it is done now and complete and I'm really happy with it. So the four things that I didn't manage to sew up in 2021 um, are the Lucette shirt by Cami Maid and I really want to get into shirt making um, that's something that I definitely want to do in 2022 and is one of my goals um, I'm not going to choose to make this pattern actually I have made it before and it is a really nice pattern but I'm not going to transfer it onto my make nine for 2022 Instead, I'm going to choose another shirt pattern and I'll talk about that in a minute. The other thing that I didn't get sewn up was the Tyrity by Just Patterns. Um, I do have some more of them planned, but it just didn't happen in 2021. The other thing that I what is on my um, list is leggings. Now, the reason why I've not sewn up the leggings was in terms of getting some stretch material that had enough stretch in them um, to be suitable for these um, Avery leggings by Helen's Closet. Um, so I, yeah, I didn't manage to get the right fabric and that's the reason why I've not sewn them up. So the final thing that was on my Make Nine for 2021 with the Winslow Clots by Helen's Closet. I absolutely love this pattern and it's going to be going on my Make Nine for 2022. So that's the first of my Make Nine for this year. And I'm going to make them in either some linen viscose or some viscose chalet, a nice light summery pair of trousers. The reason why I didn't get them sewn up in 2021 was because I didn't, we didn't have much nice weather and I think they're a really nice summer we make. So unfortunately, yeah, I didn't get a chance to sew them up last year, but they're going on the list for this year. So I've just talked about the Winslow Clots and they're first on my list. Second on my list is a lounge set and I'm going to use the joggers and the hoodie by Lydia Naomi. I really love her pic the picture of her in them. Now loungewear, even though it's been really popular over the last two years, is not something that I've really sewn up myself. I work at home um, most of the time and I have done since March 2020. But I'm in meetings and I prefer just to get ready and get smart um, for my working at home day. And I don't really wear lounge wear. I either have pajamas or I have day clothes, but lounge wear is something that I would like to try out this year. And I've got some material on its way that I purchased last year. I'm really looking forward to getting those sewn up. The next on my list is the Heather Blazer by Friday Pattern Company. So aside from the pony jacket, I've not made a blazer before or any kind of formal wear. So I'm really looking forward to dipping my toe in those waters and seeing how a jacket turns out. The next thing I want to try is a bikini pattern. 
and I'm going to use the Sandpiper Swimsuit by Helen's Closet because they have a sports style um, top and high-waisted bottoms that I think will look really nice and I'll feel really comfortable in. So yes, I'm going to give those a try. So now I have a garden and I just want to use the bikini for some bathing in the garden, um, not really for swimming. So I'm looking forward to making up those. I do have some material, I have all the supplies, as I wanted to make some last year, but I just ran out of time. I did try to buy a ready to wear bikini last year and I couldn't find any that fit me well. So I'm looking forward to going on a fitting journey with those and hopefully coming out with a nice bikini set that I can wear. So I talked earlier about wanting to get more into shirt making. Shirts are something that I really enjoy wearing. I enjoy the structure of them around my face. I like the way they style. I enjoy wearing them dressed up and dressed down. And so shirt making is something that I really want to focus on this year. And um, I've chosen to make the Cali shirt by Closet Core. I've seen some absolutely lovely versions online. The Yorkshire Sew Girl, for example, has a lovely Cali shirt. Um, yeah, and she's my inspiration for this. So the next on my list are the Yanta Overalls by Helen's Closet. I really like dungarees, um, but I've never found a pair of ready-to-wear dungarees that fit me. Um, either they're too short in the body, too short in the rise, not long enough on the legs. Um, I have all kind of fitting problems with dungarees normally. So yeah, looking forward to making a pair of dungarees. Next is the Freya Top by Tilly and the Buttons. The Freya Top is a wardrobe staple for me. I'm definitely going to be sewing another one up and I've got some white cotton jersey to use for that. So this year I have two weddings to go to, my brother-in-law's and my sister's wedding. And I want to make myself a maxi dress. I've not decided on the fabric and I've not decided on the pattern yet. But again, I'm going to be using something from my stash. I'm really going to focus and make myself as nice a dress as possible and really think about the finishing details and the lining and get all that right so I have a beautiful dress to wear for a special occasion. And the final thing on my list is the Cayello Top by Closet Core. And it's something that I'm currently in the process of making, so hopefully that's something I'm definitely going to be getting ticked off the list first. A couple of the pieces that I've talked about are things that I would really struggle to buy myself ready to wear anyway, and that will really fill a gap in my wardrobe. I currently don't have a bikini and I currently don't have any dungarees, so they're two things that I'm really looking forward to getting sewn up and adding to my wardrobe. I hope you've enjoyed me sharing my make nine with you for last year and this. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.